everyone, how are you doing today? Well, at the time of recording this, this is the first unboxing of 2017. Don't know when you're going to be seeing this, it might be 2018, who knows, but hopefully you'll get to see this in 2017. Now, I've had this a couple of weeks at least, I got this delivered just before Christmas, and any of you who follow my channel will know I've been quite, I was quite busy over Christmas recording a new video every day for 24 days. So this got put away um, until I was ready and I'm ready now. I'm hoping it's going to be okay, this Hoover Turbo Power. I paid enough for it. It seems to have been well packed anyway. I did ask the seller to pack it well because machines of this vintage often get broken when they're being thrown about. It seems very, very, very well packed. We've just got a clue here as to the colour and the model and the top part here. Right, let's have a look. I don't want to throw anything away that might be useful, but there's nothing useful there. Uh, this is over turbo power and believe it or not I haven't actually got in my current collection a, a regular turbo power and as I, what I say by regular I mean the classic turbo power with the headlight and the air freshener the only other similar turbo power hard bag turbo power I've got is the blue can't remember the model but it's blue and it doesn't have the headlight and it doesn't have the air freshener doesn't even have a bottom hook, it wasn't, it wasn't designed, it was very budget turbo power. And one of the last turbo powers, this is second generation. Now what's this? Oh, is this a small packaging? This is a second generation turbo power, the mid-range, and I think the colour, the Wedgwood Green, is probably the most common colour. So it's not a particularly rare vacuum. I'm hoping it's in good condition. Because it wasn't cheap. You know, I think I paid £100 for this, something like that. Um, and this seller, I think, wanted to back out of the sale. Because I did win it, I was the only bidder I did win this vacuum and I got an email soon after winning it saying the motor had blown up or something along those lines. So I'm, I have a feeling he wanted to back out the sale. Anyway, I called his bluff. I said, oh, it's all right, I've got a spare motor. Send it anyway. And he said, oh, I don't want to send anything that's faulty. I said, it's okay, I know it's faulty. Anyway, a bit of toing and froing, and then he comes back saying, oh, Problem solved, it was just the belt, the belt had melted. Well, I'll be having a look at evidence of that happening. Personally, I think the seller wanted more than what he got for it. He was lucky to get what he got for it, to be honest. Anyway, the handle looks a reasonable condition. It will benefit a bit more from a bit of a wipe and a polish. So here's the two-tone of the Wedgwood Green with a two position switch. So the two position switch was, ooh, a bit of polystyrene, was um, the first major refinement since the Turbo Power was launched in 83. I think this is from about 84. So one, I think that was the main difference actually, apart from they updated the colors, the main difference was they gave it a two speed switch, which was quite useful, I suppose. So you've got a low speed, middle for off and setting to for your regular speed. That looks okay, a little bit scuffed, not too bad. It's got the end cap on the handle. <clears throat> the screw is in place, so that's fine. Right, that's okay. Let's carefully lift it out. Check the box for anything. Right, that's it. That's going to go to, oh, actually, 
I might keep that box. <clears throat> I might keep that big box because I do have some vacuums that I don't have boxes for, so it would. It's quite a large box, so I could probably put a couple of vacuums in there. Right, let's see. Just going to move the camera down a bit while I take off the uh, bag. Um, this is the second clean I bought from this server. The first one I bought was the um, green Hoover Vogue base cleaner that you've seen me unbox. And funnily enough, the seller wanted to back out of that sale. And he didn't even say there was anything wrong, he just admitted to me that he didn't get what he wanted for it. And again, I think it was probably the only bidder, or there wasn't many bids on this other vacuum. Um, I think the seller's got some unrealistic expectations of what collectors will pay for vacuums, because this age of vacuum, it's not going to be a regular punter that's going to buy it. You see there's a big scratch on the side. Initial reactions to this, I'm fairly happy with it. <laughs> I'm not going I'm not going mental. It's left a bit of a mess on my carpet. It has a little bit of a lean, but not no, it's not too bad. I think that's pretty good. We've got the other screw. He's left the other screw because it's two screws that attach the handle. Um, yeah, I'm fairly happy. I'll get it looking a little bit better than this with a bit of a wipe and a polish with the car polish. Let's be careful of the flex. When I store this, and if you collect vacuums and you store your vacuums away, especially uprights that have two hooks, don't store the cable around the hooks too tightly, or in fact, better still, don't actually put the cable around the hooks if you're storing it for a long period. And if you've got one of these, these snap quite easily. Now you can't get, you might still be able to get a black colour lower cord hook for these. These snapped pretty easily. So when I store this away, it's going to be stored like that, so I don't want to risk snapping that because that is a, a point of failure on the turbo powers. So yes, all in all, looks okay. We've got an MK plug that I'll probably keep. Could do with a little bit of a, a clean up, but there's the an MK um, fused plug. Decent plug that, so it's in keeping with uh, the uh, age of this. So all in all, let's have a look inside. I don't think there'll be an air freshener, but I do have original Hoover air fresheners that fit this still. You can still get a couple of fragrances of air freshener. They're not widely available. I'm handling it with kid gloves. Oh, huh. well, for some reason there's that being put, perhaps that was, uh, had, perhaps that had some essential oils dropped onto it to make a smell. But I do have the original disc air freshener with a hole in the middle that will fit that. So that's okay. Now, our good. The bag has the bag clip. I don't think it's an original bag. It's, uh, no, it's not an original, but I think that bag clip is. It's a sort of a, a bluey colour, not black, but I'm pretty sure I've had, from when I've had them from brand new, the bag clips have been that colour. Not that it's a, a huge thing. It's cleanish, it's not filthy dirty. Obviously, I've had dirtier vacuums than this. So, I would accept that this is either been cleaned up, but it doesn't look like it's been cleaned up, if you know what I mean. It does look like it's had little use. The worst thing, I think, is a little scratch here. But again, that will disguise a bit with some polish. But all in all, you know, it's very common, I'm sure most of you, if you're into vacuums, 
well, quite a lot of you will have an example of this, especially this colour. Um, I'm just happy to have one, and it's, it's one that I never had from new, this particular colour. I never had this one. That's nice and smooth. The four position height control. And on the back, we've got the uh, handle release pedal. Again, nicely colour coordinated. If you were to get a replacement of that, if they're still available, I'm sure they'll just be available in the black colour. But that is the nice sort of a, a darker green. I know, I think it was called Wedgwood Green. I don't know if it had a two two name for the colour because it's obviously a two tone. The wheels are intact, showing somewhere. Let's have a look underneath. Oops. Now, apart from quite light rusting on the motor, uh, not the motor, the wheel spindle at the front which can, that is very very light, that will just come off with a Brillo pad. You know there's no evidence, I'm not, I'm not going to open it at the moment, but there's no evidence to me that the belt has, has caused any problems with this. You know I can't, <laughs> I'm not accusing the seller, I can't, uh, the seller cannot prove I have a feeling, going by past experience of this seller, he wanted a lot more than £99 and I think a lot of you out there will agree that I paid a lot for this. Most people wouldn't have, I was the only bidder, nobody else wanted it. But it looked in good condition, it looked clean and tidy. I mean, unless this base has been replaced, which is possible, that shows very little wear the um, the base nozzle plate there. So, all in all, I'm pretty pleased. Let's see if we've got the um, rating sticker still on here, which is under the handle. And as long as it works, when I pop the handle on, and sounds like a turbo power should. You know, it was a lot of money, but I'm not not going to buy any more turbo. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Is there something wrong with it? <laughs> It's hmm. It's very stiff. It's very stiff. I will take this apart. I will have the motor hood off, and, and when I'm cleaning it, it's still got the serial number and everything. It did seem a little bit stiff. So I will. I'll look at that. I don't know if we can actually get to this. Oh, if I can show you, it's in an awkward position now. It's my silly new camera. I'd probably be better off going handheld mode. I'll go, I'll go handheld mode. We'll have a closer look at the rating sticker, and I'm sure one of my kind viewers will be able to date it for me. Should really learn to do it myself, but uh, somebody will tell me. Right, let's have a look at the rating sticker. There we go. Can we see that? Is it blurred? I can't see it very clearly. Uh, two three three two five zero. Oh. 903664 I think U2 322 is it 240 volts 410 watts that's a 400 watt motor 10 watt bulb made by Hoover PLC Great Britain so you know all in all I'm fairly fairly pleased with it as long as um, it all works let's see adjustable I don't know why Hoover made that air freshener adjustable I never found any difference no matter what setting you put it on whether you had it on there which is supposed to be the less fragrance or the maximum fragrance it never made any difference but anyway it looks good doesn't it to have a little adjustable and of course that featured famously on the TV commercial when they said about it freshening the air and reactivating the fibres of your carpet. I don't recall this particular, the second generation, ever being TV advertised. Obviously the first generation was, because it was the launch, and it was a bit of a departure for Hoover. Some may say it was a step in the wrong direction. But obviously the, the machines that they had, the uprights that they had, right, I've got two vacuums just being delivered, so you'll just have to 
wait a moment. All right, sorry about that. A bit disappointing for two reasons. I was expecting two vacuums today and the one I've got isn't the latest model. I'm not, oh, I'll give you a sneak peek. See, see some mess behind the scenes. Um, I've got a Henry Extra. Uh, hello, Daisy. And um, it's, a bit, oh, it's a, bit, a bit mucky. Very surly delivery driver. Um, it's not... Oh, and he was, it's not on, really, is it? He's left a smell of cigarette smoke in my hall because he had a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. Now this is not what I was hoping. I didn't. I'm not sure. I know the latest Henrys. Um, I think it's called Original now. The regular Henry has got the new um, parking slot thing built in. You know, moulded in, and it's also got storage space for two tools. Um, so I think I've got an older version. HVX HVX 200. I'll be unboxing that, of course. But it's got the uh, turbo nozzle and the hard floor nozzle and the regular nozzle. But I don't know, It's um, I thought I'd be getting a later variant. We'll see. Anyway, I'll just push that to one side. In my hall, and in my hall I've got charging, which is pretty good actually, my Hoover Flexi Power. That'll be coming up, you may have already seen it, I don't know. Right. I'm expecting another vacuum actually from Very, where I got that from. Um, and I thought they'd come together, so I'm going to have to have a look. Right, here we are. Well, we're back to the old turbo power. Now I need to, now before I actually put the handle on, there's a bit of polystyrene that's got in between there. So I need to blow that out. That's good. And there's a bit, bit here. Look, that one doesn't want to go, come on. Um, no. I might have to... Hmm. Oh, let's, oh, it's gone in, it's gone in, who cares, it's gone in. Right, let's just pop the handle on. Um, just undo that screw. So I'm expecting this might need a new belt. I probably have one somewhere. But if I don't, it doesn't matter. Because... Still easy to get hold of. There we are, that's gone in nicely. And I'll just... This is very difficult, trying to do it single-handed. I'll just pop the uh, big screw into the lower hole. And this little black screw goes into there. So I'll just tighten that up with a screwdriver. And then we'll switch this on and hopefully clean up the little bit of polystyrene that's been left and um, I'll do this again, I'll, you know there's not a lot I need to do with this fortunately I'm pretty pleased with that um, as I say, new belt I expect I'm not sure if the headlight works um, if not I'll put a new headlight bulb in and then I'll do a nice little demo of this at some point but all in all that's a pretty clean and tidy turbo power and it's a nice example to have in my collection. I just had a sneak peek at the noise because I didn't uh, know it was in the on position. It sounds pretty good, to be honest. Any of you with experience of turbo powers will be able to judge, but to me it sounds, it's certainly quieter than my, the latest turbo power I've got. Just gonna put it on the sort of medium, medium, medium setting for this rug. And I'll start it off on low power does seem a little bit squeaky and a bit stiff that. I don't think that's quite right, but anyway. Molly, don't you go for it, darling. Right, let's just put it on low power. Definitely in need of a new, a new belt because I can I can hear the agitator sort of stalling because the belt's obviously not taut enough. I hope I've got one. If not, I'll buy I'll buy a, a small belt. <laughs> Is 
sounds good though. Oops, that's too high, obviously. Uh, I'll just try it on the a normal bit of carpet. I think the, the only problem is it needs a new belt. It's running a bit better on the uh, low, pi low pile carpet, but a new belt will definitely be required. A new belt, a bit of a buff and polish, a bit of a wipe, and then I'm pretty pleased with my new turbo power. So, thanks for watching my unboxing. Phew, my first one of 2017, and it's been okay. As I say, I was a little bit worried about opening this. But, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with it. Not a lot I need to do with this machine to get it restored to as near as new as I can. It's not had a hard life, and um, it won't have a hard life. It's going to have a safe retirement amongst all my other classic Hoovers and Electroluxes and Mealers and Sebos and all the other vacuum cleaners in my collection. So thanks for watching as I said, tune in again, there will be another video of this machine at some point, but there's still a lot more demos I need to make before I do one of this machine. So thumb me up and don't forget if you subscribe please click on the bell symbol because apparently some people are being unsubscribed from channels. Um, it's something to do with this bell symbol so when you click on subscribe if you see the little bell, if you click on the bell and allow email notifications, it means you should always be updated when I upload a new video. And it normally happens more or less straight away. So as soon as I've uploaded a new video, you should get an email telling you of the fact. You don't have to go and search for my new videos. You'll be notified straight away. So until the next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.